Hey everybody, my name is Raf, and today I want to give you a quick five minute fix on how to use Ableton and OBS together so you can get those sounds that are in Ableton into your OBS software. So I was struggling with this issue a lot and I finally came across an article and a video that was able to explain this to me, so I wanted to give this to you. So if you stumble upon this tutorial, it can help you out. All right, so first things first, we're gonna open up google.com and I'll have the link in the description below, but it's gonna to go to www.reaper.fm forward slash replugs. And what this allows us to do is to download a VST onto both our Ableton software and our OBS software, and it's gonna allow for the audio to be transmitted into OBS, really nice and clean and easy. So first things first, I have a 64-bit um, processing system, so I'm gonna download the 64-bit EXE. And after I click accept, you should go to this, you should get this screen, which you're gonna click agree. And the only plugin that you'll need to download for this tutorial is the restream plugin, which is kind of checked off in a gray. So you can uncheck all of these if you'd like, or you can download them if you want. So after hitting next, you're gonna see where this destination folder is. Mine's at VST forward slash replug. So once we hit install, it should be here. I'm gonna click cancel because I already have this installed. But once you go to your program files, you should see that it is in your VST plugins right here, which is perfect. So now let's open up our Ableton software and we are going to want to make sure that this is in our plugin section. For me, it's already here, but if you have Ableton already open and you just need to rescan, go ahead and do that. Um, it's important to note that you might have your VST plugins for Ableton in a different folder. And if so, that's all right. All you need to do is go and browse on that folder that you have it on. So for me, I have it in Steinberg and then VST plugins. So if I show you right real quick right here, it's Steinberg VST plugins. That's where my Ableton folder is looking for VST plugins. So you just can copy and paste the replugs into this folder. And then when you rescan in Ableton, it should show up all nice and good. Perfect. So once we have that all figured out, I'm going to go back to the plugins and you can see it's right here, drop down. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna click the Restream Standalone plugin, which is the one we have. We're gonna, down, we're gonna drag it down to our master. And once we have that, you should be prompted with this screen. We're gonna wanna click Send Audio slash MIDI and we're gonna wanna do Local Broadcast. Perfect. From there, you can just X that out and then we're gonna go to our OBS software. So moving to our OBS software, we're going to want to click the plus icon and we're going to want to go to audio input capture, hit OK, but I'm going to title this a DAW. Default is good. good. I'm going to mute my DAW microphone just so I don't get um, double microphone input for now. Then once you click your DAW, you're going to want to right click and click filters. From there, hit the plus icon and go to VST to Point X plugin. You're going to hit all right. And then we're going to click please select plugin and drop down to restream standalone. This one is great. Um, it has two and I haven't seen a difference between these two. I it might just come up twice, but I'm just clicking the top one. All right. Then after that, you're going to hit uh, close, but a common issue is that some people might be getting again, that double frequency from the microphones. So easy way, easy fix for that is to go plus click gain. Okay, and then bring the gain all the way down and then bring it above your VST2 plugin to lower that microphone's amplification. Basically, we're trying to mute the microphone. And if it's still not muted, you can just add another gain, put it above that VST plugin, and then bring it all the way down. And that should solve the issue because now when I unmute, as you see, it doesn't have any of that audio coming through on my microphones. Perfect. So now, moment of truth, let's pop back into Ableton and let's see if we can get some audio sound. But I'm not I lost a friend, I lost a friend, I lost my mind. Amazing. So there we go. That is how you quickly get your Ableton sound into your OBS and you can use it for whatever purposes you like. I really hope that helps. And um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the, the leave them down below. And I hope I can help answer anything you have. So again, have a wonderful day. And I hope this tutorial helps you out.